Athletes, welcome back. We have the workout for you. It is full body. We've got pulling, pushing, lower body pulling and pushing, and we've even got some core included there. We got Haley, we got TJ. Let's get ready and get to it. <gasps> Athletes, your warm up is starting in 10 seconds. Go ahead and clear out that space. Get ready to move. We are going to be starting with our row variation here. So I've got Haley on towel rows. I've got TJ on bent over rows. And go. Right now, we're using this time to set up our stations and make sure we've got the right tension band. And then we also have a place that we can hang our towel from. On either of these movements when we're going through this, remember, no T-Rex arms. We're thinking about pulling with those elbows. You can do this on either movement, whether it's with the band or with the towel. We're always trying to squeeze those shoulder blades together when we pull back. I'm gonna go ahead and have athletes rest. And now we are moving into our pressing. So for our pressing, we've got TJ on regular push-ups. We've got Haley on incline push-ups on the box. Now, when we're going through here, this is the time to make sure that you've got your form set. So I need to see chest making contact with the floor or the box and making sure our hands are in a position so that when we come down, we are in an A-frame. Not a T-frame, not an I-frame, but that A-frame with our arms coming out from our body at about a 45 degree angle. Go ahead and relax. The next one that we have, we are going to be going into our core movement, which is gonna be quarter sit-ups or regular sit-ups. Now, for Haley, she's gonna be doing quarter sit-ups. So as a guide, if you've never done quarter sit-ups before, we're focused on trying to bring those shoulders off the floor. With this, she can take her hands, place them on her legs, and then try to go to a specific landmark on her body. So right now we're going with knees. If she needs to go right above knees or mid thigh to decrease that range of motion through the workout, she is welcome to. TJ is going on his ab mat sit-ups here. We're making sure we're touching the ground behind our head and then sitting up, getting our shoulder past our hip crease. I'm gonna have you guys rest in three, two, one, and then we're gonna stand back up and we are going into our squat variation. So for our squat variation, feet are gonna be slightly wider than shoulder width. Turn those feet out just a little bit and then we are going to squat below to parallel for TJ's variation. And then Haley has a squat to chair, but with the chair, it was a little too high. So what we're doing is, is we're modifying by placing a wall ball on top of a plate. Now, if you're gonna use this variation or you're gonna use another object besides a box, I'm gonna have Haley sit all the way down on that ball to make sure this item can support your body weight if you need it. Go ahead and stand back up and relax. That is it for our warm up. We are gonna get into the workout. So get ready, get set. We got some fitness coming your way. Athletes, our workout is starting now. We've got 10 seconds on the clock. Go ahead and find your space. We're starting out with our row variation in three, two, one, go. For today's workout, we've got three sets. We are on our first set and we are thinking about going through a volume on this that we can maintain the same intensity throughout. So I don't want you guys necessarily trying to go unbroken on this workout. We wanna strategically break this up so that we can take planned rests and then get right back into that movement. If you get to the point where you think that you're gonna to have to fail on a rep because you're going too much all at once, I want you to strategize, break it up, Think about if we have a set of 20, we can break it up into sets of 10 or sets of five. We've got Haley finishing up her towel rows. We've got TJ onto his push-ups. Making sure when you guys are on your push-ups, I need you to make contact with that chest and the floor and also getting full extension through the arms to the top. We've got Haley going to her box for these incline push-ups that we have. And one thing I wanna make note of is, is that these push-ups can be very, very tough. So if you guys get on this and you feel yourself going to failure and you don't think that you can do these incline push-ups, we can grab a plate, lay down on our back, and we're gonna bring that plate down until elbows make contact with the floor and then press back to full extension. So that floor plate press is an option for our push-ups if we need it. We've got TJ moving on to his ab mat sit-ups. We've got Haley working through these push-ups at a nice steady clip. This is what I wanna see because remember, we got three sets, we got a two minute rest in between, but if you burn out in the first round, you're gonna have a bad time in sets two and three. So I wanna make sure that we are being smart, listening to our body, we can push ourselves, but not so much to where we get reduced to doubles and singles on our reps. With TJ's ab mat sit-ups, you can see that he's touching the ground behind his head and then using those arms for momentum to sit all the way up, getting shoulders in front of his hip crease and making contact with his toes and his hands. We've got Haley with no ab mat because with quarter sit-ups, sometimes that ab mat can make these too difficult. 
We're using those hands just to find the range of motion that we're going through to get our shoulders off the floor. And we have 40 reps here. So I would highly encourage you guys to break these up for just a second so that you can kind of get your core opened up again and then go back through. If you are going through with our athletes, we're going unbroken in the studio. So make sure you're picking that pace that you can maintain throughout. After this, both of our athletes are gonna be moving into their squat variations. And then we got that two minute rest coming up. So that's the time that you can assess how you did in set number one, figure out if there's anything that you need to change there. TJ is moving into air squats and Haley is right behind him. So with this movement, we're making sure that heels are staying on the floor when we squat, we're keeping our knees out. And what I mean by that is, is that wherever your toes are pointing, your knees should be going in the same direction. We wanna focus on keeping a high chest, so don't drop that chest excessively. And if we find that squatting is something that's difficult for us, we can use either a rig or something that we can walk our way down to try and maintain that upright chest through this. We've got a lot of reps here, 150 total for the entire workout, but we're breaking it up into sets of 50. Now within this, if you guys wanna go a set of 20, shake those legs out and then get right back into it, you are more than welcome to. Remember, break this up in a way that's gonna allow you to move consistently and take those consistent breaks so we don't get to burn out on this movement or on this workout. We've got Haley going down to her wall ball on a plate. Now when we are squatting to an object, we're never sitting down on the object. During the warm up, we sat down to make sure it could support our body weight. So if we lose our balance, or if we're too, we're too blown up in our legs to stand up and we sit down on that object, it will not move or collapse on us. But when she's doing her reps here, she's making contact with the ball and then standing up. I like to use the analogy of it's summertime and you just sat down on a hot car seat and you pop right back up. So that's what we're thinking about. I believe that we had a photo finish there. So now we are going into set number two. And as always, when we're pacing each other like this, we're gonna turn it into a little bit of competition. So both of our athletes got their two minute time. When did you guys finish? What time? 3.51, 3.51 finish time from both athletes. So if I can math correctly, that means that we are going at 5.51. If you guys are around the same time as our athletes and you wanna start with this, we'll make sure to give you the countdown. And this way we can get a little bit of competition going through this. If you guys are still working on your first set, that is okay. Working at your capacity and your pace is what we want today. So don't get too caught up in the competition aspect. If you're just in here to move today and get some fitness in, because we have multiple goals for this workout and you pick the one that best suits you for right now. The most important thing is, is that we are not going to an intensity that heavily sacrifices our form because I want good looking movements. I've said this before, if it was Saturday morning farmer's market and you were selling these reps, I would wanna buy every single one. We are 50 seconds away from set number two here in the studio. So you guys are doing great. If you need to grab some water really quick, please do so. Take some nice deep recovery breaths. Something that I will always talk about in classes is, is that you can athlete really good, but if you don't know how to recover really good, then you're only half an athlete. So you can use this time to make sure we're moving around. I got both my athletes already moving their legs a little bit because they know they still have 100 squats left in this workout. You can move your arms around. You can even hop down into a seal pose to get your core opened up. But we are on the verge of our 10 second mark and athletes are starting at 5.51. I'll give you guys the countdown in five, four, three, two, one, and go. That is set number two. Now you are gonna feel the fatigue from that first set starting to eke in on set number two. So make sure that we are keeping that good positioning. Again, we're pulling with our elbows. We are not pulling with those hands. I wanna make sure that if you get sassy kitten, where you're a little at the top with that band or with your towel, we need to engage the back. That's the primary mover on this movement. So if you get into that bent arm position, it's all biceps. And we do not wanna do that to ourselves, especially this early in this workout. Now we've got TJ and Haley moving to their push-ups at the same time. I'm gonna make sure that both athletes are staying aware of their range of motion and getting through this. So we wanna go all the way down to the floor and all the way up. Haley is being very smart about breaking these up. And if we start to pike into a position, then we can switch to that plate floor press, which I'm gonna have Haley do on her next break. 
We'll get these final reps in for her. She's gonna grab her plate, and then she's gonna get down on the floor, and we're gonna switch to our floor plate press for the remainder of her reps. If you take a look at what she's doing here, she's gonna extend overhead and then come back down, making contact with her elbows in the floor. This floor plate press is a fantastic piece that you can use to really develop the strength that you need for regular push-ups. And as a personal thing, I'm just all against knee push-ups. I'm not gonna go on a tangent here, but I want you guys practicing that pressing motion with your full body length or doing a piece like this floor plate press that will help you build up that strength. If you guys have a rig at home, what you can do is, is that you can put a bar on that rig and incline it so that you can do incline push-ups there and customize that height. When we're going through our sit-ups, I'm gonna make sure that Haley is keeping her arms straight all the way through that movement. And then I got TJ over here on his ab mat sit-ups, and you can't hear it, but he's breathing out with every rep, and that's what I want you guys doing here. We think about being a teapot, when we exert ourselves, we gotta release that pressure. So a little is what we're thinking about doing. That applies to every single movement you'll ever do, with the exception of double unders, because I really don't think you can breathe with every double under, unless you're hyperventilating. So watch out for that. Haley, keep those arms straight for me. So straighten them out. Yep, just like that, all the way through. I want you guys to make sure that when you guys are doing these sit-ups, if we're using our hands as a guide, we're gonna make sure that we're keeping that consistent so we always have the same measure that we're using every single time. We've got both athletes done with these sit-ups. TJ gives a little side-eye to Haley. because She's like, how did you just catch up to me? But now we're into our squats. We got TJ going below parallel. We've got Haley going right to parallel. We're slightly below. You can customize that height with whatever object that you're using here. Again, we're focused on our breathing, taking a nice deep breath at the top. We are going to go down and then breathe out through pursed lips on the way up. If you breathe out like you're blowing out birthday candles like that, that does not help you create tension in your core. And that's what the goal is here, is we're trying to keep ourselves consistent with this and also making sure that we're reinforcing good core positioning so that we're not slouching over or getting into a place that we can injure ourselves with this. Both athletes are on their second set of air squats. We are getting right almost to the 100 rep mark for these. And then we're gonna take our two minute rest on this workout. I'm gonna make sure that both athletes are keeping those heels on the floor. If you don't think I'm talking to you, I might be talking to you. So self-check there, make sure that we're keeping ourselves in that good position. Chest is staying up, eyes are staying on the horizon, and we are keeping those knees in line with our toes. This is set number two of three sets on this workout. This is where the fatigue is starting to set in. Haley is finishing up with her reps. TJ is done, he got his rest time, Haley is done. We had like a five second discrepancy there. Not bad. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I think Haley gave TJ a chance in this set just to build up a little bit of confidence. So we've got set number three. Again, during these rest times, these rest times aren't just thrown in to make the workout longer. They're strategically placed so that you guys can get some active recovery in. This workout would be very different if we went three sets in a row with no rest. So utilize this time to recover. Shake your arms out. Move your legs, move your arms, move your shoulders. Do some core twists back and forth to get yourself opened up. You can also take some nice deep breaths because this workout, you may not have thought about this being aerobic, but it is. It's very, very sneaky in the way it's programmed. And this is our last set. So you really have to dig in here. If you're keeping track of those times of your rounds, I want you to try to make this your fastest round. Now, going unbroken does not necessarily equate to being fast. So if we take strategic rests so we can hammer out a couple reps and then we can go right back into it after a quick rest may get you done faster than trying to maintain 30 unbroken push-ups. You may think it makes you look cool, but we're worried about trying to get faster on this workout while maintaining that intensity. What time do you start, TJ? 11.40, what time do you start? 11.47, we got a seven second discrepancy here. I think that Haley can take it. We're gonna see, we're gonna see. TJ does not believe me. TJ is very confident right now, but the clock will show the truth. Both athletes are getting ready for this third set. If you guys are still working on your second set at home, that is okay. Everybody is at a different point in their fitness journey and we want you guys to push yourself where you are right now. We're always trying to make yourself a better you than when you showed up today. So if you're a little bit behind where we're at in the studio, that doesn't mean that you're doing a bad job. The hardest part today was showing up and we are here for it. 
Set number three is starting for TJ, and then Haley is right behind him. She's grabbing his towel or her towel, and we are off for set number three. Both athletes are making sure they're doing a great job of staying in good positioning here. We've got TJ pulling with those elbows once again, and then we got Haley pulling with her elbows on this towel row. For our towel row, if this is getting too difficult for you guys, you can always move your feet back slightly to decrease the incline or the decline that you have away from that upright so that we can make that pull just a little bit easier. TJ's flying on these push-ups. Haley, I'm gonna have her go directly to her, to her floor, sorry. I'm gonna have her go directly to her plate floor press because again, when we start to get into a position where we're heavily sacrificing the movement, we wanna find a modification so that we can still get the primary motion but make it a little bit easy on ourselves because if you noticed in set number two where Haley was starting to pike out a little bit, I don't wanna see that. That's changing the direction of the push. So this floor plate press is gonna be a fantastic substitution for that. TJ is finishing up push-ups right now. We got Haley on her plate floor press. I'm not gonna say that anymore because it's a tongue twister. And then we got TJ going to his ab mat sit-ups here. This is a decent amount of volume on our ab mat sit-ups, so do not be shy about taking a rest. If you guys even need to rest, flip over into a seal position just to get yourself opened up for a moment, you can. We got Haley moving to her quarter sit-ups right now. I'm thinking that she can make up some time here, but she's gonna keep those arms straight all the way through. We got 40 reps on set number three, and then we're moving into our last and final movement, which is our air squats. I know you guys are tired right now. I need you to keep up that intensity. I need you to keep pushing. I know that all you wanna do is stop right now, but when you get done with this workout, you're gonna wish that you had pushed, and that's what I'm here for. I'm trying to get you guys to give us every last little bit, because you get to rest after this, and it's not a two minute rest, it's as long as you want. So this is our last one. Work your way through this. We got TJ stretching out those legs. We're making sure that we are getting all of our reps in because you don't think I'm counting, but I'm counting. I know where everybody's at at home right now. So make sure that you're being honest. If you're doing this workout by yourself, it's way too easy to cut the last five because you're like, ah, oh, 35 was enough. No, give me all 40, please. Do it for me. Do it for TJ, do it for Haley. We showed up for you guys today and we want you guys to show out in this workout. So keep pushing. This is our last set. Both athletes are on their last movement. We've got Haley who just finished up with her sit-ups. And I believe the perspiration is from nervousness from TJ, not from exertion. He's moving into these air squats now. Oh, Haley, he's coming for you. We got both athletes on air squats. If you guys are on air squats with us, make sure you're not cheating your range of motion. I need you below parallel, and I need that chest up the top. If you guys are squatting to an object, make sure that we are making contact with that object and then standing at the top. We need full extension in those hips. Do not get into this place, because we all know that. When we start getting tired, we try to shorten that up. So I wanna make sure that we are getting full reps all the way through this last set of 50 that we have. This is our third and final set of this workout. You guys have done so great. Give me that intensity. We are almost done. Keep pushing. If you got to take a slight break to kick those legs out, you are more than welcome to. But we are almost there. The finish line is in sight. We see that. We just have to squat our way towards it. We got TJ going unbroken. We got Haley taking a strategic break, kicking those legs out, which is what I like to see. Both athletes are taking a different approach here, making sure we're breathing out as we stand up. Keep that breathing in line with your movement. Let's go, guys. You're almost there. I don't know who is gonna finish first. I'm slightly nervous because I've got my money on one athlete. It's actually Josh behind the camera, but good job, guys. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing and TJ is done, we're gonna have to review the tape because there may have been one or two missing reps there. I can't say, I can't say for sure. I trust both my athletes though. Great job guys, Haley, great job. TJ, great job. Great job at home. If you guys are still working, don't stop just because we're done here. I want you guys to go all the way through your total volume on this workout. We did it here, we're expecting the same out of you. If you guys just finished, great job. Stick around for your cool down, which is coming up next. Great job today, everybody. You showed out on that workout. We are so proud of you guys. Now, if you like today's workout and you're not part of the Mayhem Athlete community, I've gotta ask you why. If you liked the workout that we did today, we have hundreds of other workouts just like this and tons that are different from this that you can do anywhere. 
You can do them in your box. You can do it in the garage. You can do it on the road. You can do it in a hotel. Wherever you guys are at, we have workouts that you can do virtually anywhere with any equipment that you have accessible on hand. You also will find a community of like-minded athletes that will push you towards your goal, whether that's to be a better version and a better, a fitter version of yourself or to take the competition floor. So if you're not a part of the Mayhem Athlete community, I invite you to join us today. Now, the most important part is coming up and I'm always super, super serious. I'm happy you go lucky during the workout, but I mean it when I say this, your cool down is here. So please make sure you stick around, take care of your body because it just took care of you. And as always, be good, be kind, and join us next time for another great workout.